Okay, I've gotten uh, yet another firmware update uh, for Autopilot. This is uh, 42, 2017 42, uh, A88, A8 something. Um, did you see what the card just did? It swerves a little bit when you're going in the bottom of a hill or over a crest. Um, so, uh, bit of an excitement with this uh, firmware um, going the centerized route. Uh, as you can see, it's getting dark. My window for filming is getting narrower since we're get getting into uh, uh, the real autumn. Uh, well, uh, what this um, what the excitement is about is not that autumn is coming, but uh, that we are uh, closer to. Uh, well, somebody on the internet have examined this and, and said that uh, there have, are some changes in in uh, the code. I have no clue to to what it really means. Uh, they talk about neural nets and stuff, so that could hopefully mean that uh, a bigger update is imminent. Uh, they have also examined the technology uh, Tesla uses for for doing this kind of driving, and it's um, well the discussion has been raging if that is a good thing or a bad thing. But uh, okay, going uh, the first uh, narrow bend over the small crest here and goes pretty good. It uh, don't have any phantom braking anymore. I'm of course pushed again by a car behind me that is going to speed past. So let's see if we can engage. Um, this is my first uh, drive on, on this road now with this firmware and so I'm pretty excited to see if it's making changes. Uh, feeling quite confident. It's uh, one of the better performances this uh, 2017.42 version, I must say. Uh, I think we're tracking the car in front now, uh, going faster than our last uh, drive with the dot .40 uh, version. So. Problem staying center, maybe drifting a little bit out towards in a bend, but not bad at all. <coughs> Following traffic very smoothly, uh, I'm not even thinking about that at the moment, so that's good. You can watch, uh, watch of course, if the car uh, puts on energy or uh, reduces speed on left. And of course by the speedometer. So, time to turn around and uh, let's see. That was strange. I thought I was, had disengaged, but... Um, now, so the discussion rates, uh, some of you have seen the article in Bloomberg uh, News uh, about the autopilot, and of course I'm one of the bit frustrated owners. I have not done anything about it except writing a small letter to Tesla uh, asking where my FSD is. Um, so there have been some tweets, of course, uh, this summer from from the autopilot team, Mr. Karpati, and uh, uh, he was hopeful. This uh, John McNeil uh, director, he was uh, pretty impressed, but a bit caution cautious. Um, we shall just see what they can. Uh, release for us, but uh, when will it happen? Well, anyways, it's at this moment we're kind of uh, hoping for uh, a stable, solid autopilot, auto steer system to drive us on highways, and of course this highway I'm driving, uh, which is kind of registered as a local road, but should definitely be one of the one of the ones you can use autopilot on but it's also quite narrow and uh, have a lot of bends so I think it's 
decent to say that we stress the system a little bit with this one. The usual high-speed highway, of course, is uh, a lot faster, wider roads, uh, longer stretches, more banked curves and everything, so... Uh, at this speed it's quite okay to drive, at least, but uh, I'm trying to stress the system a little bit by going and about the speed limit, which um, of course is speeding, but uh, it was the old speed limit at this road uh, just a few years ago before, before the environment. So this is a, the, a big uh, challenge. You can see the car is putting on some, quite a momentum on the wheel to, to keep itself in, inside the lane, and it was oh, <laughs> quite close to that one, but uh, did fine. I have um, not seen it trying to adjust by uh, recognizing signs, so that's not there yet either. Um, but doing these uh, curves at uh, high speeds quite decently, I must say, even if it's a lot of traffic, so that's good. So what can we expect in the future? Um, this is a, a small step forward again, maybe from dot 38, which I also th think was a quite, uh, quite good uh, update. So, yeah, is it a step forward? Is it the same? Really hard to say. This, this stretch uh, road, <laughs> this road, uh, this part of the road that I'm driving is so short that it's it's really hard to standardize the test. So, the subtle differences you will not see them at all <clears throat> I guess so uh, but um, I was uh, thinking that dot 40 was not the best update but this one looks pretty solid yeah and the car has been uh, become a bit uh, um, more silent also since I put on my winter tires uh, it has been falling some snow in the mountains already so that's good season is uh, soon ready. Ah, there we got the small wiggle. I'm not sure if you can notice it, but on the crest it will turn it wheel a little bit. Uh, it's subtle, but it's there, so it kind of loses track a little bit, so they have to work on that. I'm not sure what they're going to do to find a solution. If it's uh, the wide angle camera that is lacking or it's uh, the narrow tele camera that is uh, lacking that means the car doesn't seem see far enough ahead. But a good update is 42 version. <laughs>